firefighters attack a blaze in an effort to save lives and mitigate damage to other equipment and personnel. This is not an actual emergency. It's a simulation used to train firefighters at Soto Cano Air Base for the worst. Show some scenarios on a plane as far as engine fires, cockpit fires, 3D fires, every kind of fire you could probably have on an aircraft. We're going to simulate and put it out and train. Before these firefighters can train, they have to learn the setup of the simulator, such as connecting gas lines, and a configuration that simulates a fuel spill fire. Training such as this is essential because technology and the focus on fire prevention means firefighters don't see many real fires anymore. To keep their, their skills honed, um, to ensure that they're uh, familiar with their equipment uh, and that they're, um, they're ready at all times, that this gives them a, a great opportunity to uh, refresh their, their skill sets and, and enhance them at the same time. In the Air Force at an air base, the most important part of being a firefighter is protecting the aircraft. So, I mean, you definitely you definitely want to know what you're doing when you're getting on the aircraft. Because, I mean, it's, it's not every day you have a plane crash. So, we need we use the simulator to practice, and, and we practice how we play it. We play how we practice. The heat is on as the firefighters are put through their paces and run through the different scenarios. After the training, the firefighters roll their hoses and stow their gear. They are now ready if they ever have to put this training to the test. Specialist Chuck Gill, Sotocano Air Base, Honduras.